Okay, so we had a look, or well, we are looking at lease liabilities, aren't we? And the lease liability is the present value of your lease payments. Those lease payments could be fixed. If they are, you include them. In substance fixed, when they're unavoidable, you include them. Or if they're variable and they're based on a rate or index, you include them. If it's a rent review, you don't include it at the start, but you do include it as the rent reviews happen. Now, the next one, future performance. So future performance just says, okay, what if you have to pay more based upon how well you do, how well your asset does? And I've put a big red cross through that to show you that doesn't get included in the lease liability. Okay, where that gets included is in the income statement. Okay, so that gets included in the income statement. So have a look at an example then, an example that we've done before. Remember this one, 10-year lease, 50,000 per annum in advance, discount it down at 5%. When we did that, you had a right to use asset of 405,391 and uh, a lease liability, 405,391. Obviously that one then just went over to there, didn't it? Okay, now what I'm saying is though, we've got this variable payment, this variable payment of 1% of sales. So if sales were 800,000, an extra 8,000 per annum, do I add it into the lease liability at the start? No, I do not. Instead, I put it to the income statement. So instead, what we'd have is that 8,000 there would go to the income statement in year one. Obviously, in year one, we would then depreciate that asset there over 10 years. And the 405391, the lease liability, that would be your opening, wouldn't it? You'd then take off your payment. I think it was 50,000, 5,000, 50,000, yeah. Then you'd add on your interest at 5%, whatever that was, 17,000 and something I seem to remember. And then you'd get your closing, okay? But my point really of this whole thing is anything that's based on the future performance of the assets, put it to the income statement. The only variable payments you put to the lease liability are index, rate, rent review in the future, not initially.